essential student accommodation investment tips from FJP Investment. Property investment requires you to know every single last detail to ensure that you are 100% confident with the investment you are making and that it will be giving you exactly what you expect it to. Inexperienced investors, particularly student accommodation investors, need to do their due diligence and with that in mind, FJP Investment have put together a checklist to help you on your way. The first thing to be sure of is that the rental income is going to be meeting your expectations. Over the past few years, the average net yield in England and Wales is just 5%. So if your sums and your yield is above this, it would certainly represent an above average investment return. But of course, managing your expectations and remembering that you should take into account your outgoing expenses and maybe periods of no income, this will help to make sure you are making a good worthwhile investment. Most investors will look at the longer term when they invest. Whilst receiving the rental income, they will be looking for appreciation on their investment, i.e. capital growth, before giving the investor a profit when deciding to sell in the future years. Often, investors have a slightly blinkered view when they buy student accommodation. Property may seem like a steal uh, and in a particular area, but is this an area where students are going to want to live? Remember, when we are young, we want to be in the middle of the action, or certainly as near to it as possible, as well as close to the university, so saving on traveling expenses. So whilst to an investor, a property may seem to be good value, but it outside the catchment area for students, this will certainly impact on the returns for the property. So this must be a key when making the investing decision. We're going to talk about Manchester. Manchester has firmly positioned itself as the second financial capital of the United Kingdom. This has been shown with the average household income now encouraging demand for super high-end residential developments in the very best location. Which city is also a major consideration? Visit and check out the university cities before making your mind up as to which city you are going to invest into. FJP Investment has a particular focus on student accommodation investments in northern cities of the United Kingdom, such as Manchester. You may find that a larger investment will certainly give you better rewards in the long term. You will find companies that guarantee your return for a number of years at a certain percentage on your rental investment. This gives you a comfort level, but a word of caution, should the term be just two years, that would be a concern. As an investor, you should really be looking for guaranteed returns for a longer period of time, as it therefore shows that the developer has confidence in the ability to rent out the property. I think most of all is that you should be listening to your gut instinct. If a property is priced for sale well below others of the same ilk, ask questions of the developer or the agent as to why. Of course, if the student accommodation is smaller, I mean some developers, sellers, they'll even put as many small units as possible into one building, as this may well be reflected in the lower price of higher units. But always ask the questions and make sure the answers add up. Each property is different and we would all like the property to come ready for a student to move into. But obviously that is not the case. You will probably need to do some work before taking on a tenant to ensure that you factor those costs into your investment. And also of course the time before anything that needs doing. You have choices and when it comes to management of the property... One is that you can do it yourself. That would mean you'd have to collect the rent re weekly. Obviously, it's the best way with students. You'll also have to be on call 24 hours when the toilet's blocked and so on. Uh, or, indeed, you could go the route of using a management company and sitting back and taking the rent. However, management companies can be costly and they will call out the plumber for you. But will it be more costly than yours? 
Of course, doing your homework regarding this issue is vital. It could end up costing you either a lot of money or a lot of stress. You make the decision. To find out more about student accommodation investments, visit the website www.fjpinvestment.co.uk. Thank you.